Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Mohsen and you are watching to the new video of the MKO developer channel. This is the second video of the navigation component tutorial. And in this video I'm going to show you how to use safe arcs to uh, take the data from the first fragment and navigate it to the second fragment. If you haven't watched the first video of this tutorial you can click on this link and watch that video. Then come back here because I'm going to use the, the project that we have created together in the first video and uh, you have to know how to use the navigation component and uh, so on. Okay, let's get started. For this project uh, uh, I did some changes. I have added one edit text in the first fragment and one the text view in the second fragment to extract the data from this one and pass it to the second fragment and display it in this text view. Uh, before anything, we need some uh, dependencies uh, in the developer.android.com uh, you can search for the safe arc and I'm going to uh, copy and paste this uh, stuff and put them in the description below so don't worry but if you want to achieve this website you can search the safe arcs and you will find it I'm going to copy this and in the Android studio in the build.gradle the project tag here just before these plugins I'm going to paste them and in the build.gradle module app uh, I need a plugin and it's here one of these two uh, you can choose um, I'm going to choose this one or maybe this just and here paste it if you want to copy it, you can write it. And uh, this one as well. I'm going to zoom a bit if you want to write it by your hand. You can pause the video and do it. And just press the sync and wait for the sync to be finished. Okay, sync is done and the project is ready to continue. I'm going to the first fragment first. Uh, here I've initialized the edit text. Okay. And uh, as you remember, we used this line of code to navigate from the first fragment to the second fragment. And this was the ID of the action uh, go from first fragment to the second fragment. Now we are creating a value and we are calling it action equals to uh, first fragment directions dot go to first fragment uh, go from first fragment to the second fragment and instead of this we are going to use this action till here everything is the same and if I'm running the app you will see that uh, we can go from the first activity uh, sorry first fragment to the second fragment but uh, still there is no data here okay we should wait one hour for it to be built yeah finally Okay, I'm going to press it. Yeah, you see, we are going to the second fragment. So, that line of code works. So you may ask, what is this uh, first fragment direction? After syncing the project, after adding the uh, dependencies that we were talking about them, here in the Java package, you will have this uh, new package and you will have uh, new classes that automatically will be generated uh, based on the number of fragments that you have and everything okay now here we need a data to pass in the navigation host 
here we have the tag arguments I'm going to press this plus and here I am going to write like the name or maybe the text or data anything you want and here I'm going to choose the string as the type and default value you can add a default value here okay and here we have the default value uh, here we have to extract the text of the edit text so et fragment form dot uh, text uh, first well data equals to this okay now go to the second fragment and here we need value I'm going to call it args with the type of second fragment args by uh, nav args okay and uh, here in the on create view uh, we want to set the data on this text view so add the Uh, TV data fragment two dot text uh, equals to args dot text. It's here. Uh, the list of all of the arguments that you are creating in the navigation file will appear here. I have only one, so only this one is here. The text and. Uh, let's check it again on the emulator and we should have now uh, the default value that we have set okay from the first fragment to the second fragment and you see i have the uh, default value now let's write a code to extract the data from this one here the text you can write anything you want or pass this data so the data and check it again here subscribe please and remember that and I'm going to press this and here you see this and subscribe please. Okay, that was everything about this video. And we uh, took the data and passed it uh, from the first uh, fragment to the second fragment using uh, safe args. So be with me in the next videos of this tutorial. And if you are satisfied of this content and you want to financially support me, you can find the link down below in the description and by clicking on that link you can buy me a coffee thank you and also i have to mention if you are not familiar with the fragments and you don't know anything about the fragments uh, i have uh, a playlist about the fragments and i'm going to put the link of this uh, playlist also down below in the description and here on the top so you can watch that one and be familiar with the fragments. If you find this video interesting, please remember to share it with your friends and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any question, please write down in the comment box below and I will be so happy to answer to your questions. Remember to subscribe to the channel for new videos. Have a good time. See you in next videos. Bye bye.